hey guys it's me delicious delights welcome to my channel and welcome to day 23 of sentimus the second last one let's get into this all right okay so uh we have from the house of amouage this is jubilation 25 uh, I have tried this before quite a few times. I don't think I've ever talked about it on my channel before yet though. So let's get this on a piece of paper. In the meantime, what is your scent of the day? Okay. Okay. Jubila Jubilation 25 for women. I'm just gonna say straight up you guys I, I don't like this fragrance I just don't like it at all and not that it stinks I don't think it stinks it's just really not my cup of tea it's not something I would ever 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 want to wear it doesn't suit my personality it's just it's just not me basically so what does it smell like um, right off the bat, it just reminds me, it smells like a dated fragrance, and again, not in a bad way, but it smells extremely dated, so it is, to me, it smells like a very mature scent, like I can, I can picture a mature woman smelling like this. I don't see, I just, I don't know, it's powdery. I know that one of the big notes in here is incense, but I don't really smell a lot of incense. I just smell like a makeup powder compact. This actually reminds me a lot of my grandmother um, because she had, she always, always powdered her face all the time. And I just remember that smell so vividly, you know what I mean? Like that smell smells like this <laughs> every time she would open it and she would powder her face and she wore like a lot of powder a lot of the time um but anyways yeah that's what it smells like it just smells very very dated very mature powdery makeup bag kind of thing and i can see i i, I can picture a lot of women pulling this off but just not me it just seriously is like something completely just not me. I keep on saying that, but it just, you know how fragrances, you just know right away that you just can't wear it. This is one of those things. So I will read what it says here. Jubilation 25 captures the moment of timeless eternity in which myth and reality are interwoven. This is created for the elegant, enigmatic, and sophisticated woman who lives her life as an art form. Yes, I totally agree with that. Transcending the time, place, and cultures in which she inhabits. So yeah, that doesn't really tell much about the fragrance, but it kind of gives you an idea of like the overall like vibe of this fragrance. It being just very elegant, sophisticated, grown up, take charge kind of woman. Which uh, is the opposite of me. <laughs> no. I just know I just don't I don't like it I do love the men's version though um, jubilation 25 for men that one I would totally wear and I also just give me a second I'm going to show you guys something okay I'm back so jubilation 25 I actually wear the men's version but I wear it in the um, shower gel form <laughs> uh, you can see that it's almost empty I'm like I don't know. I, I love this stuff so much. I actually really, really love also the shower gel Interlude Man, also from Amouage, of course. Uh, it's just um, really, really potent and awesome. <laughs> uh, same with this one. I really do love the shower gels from Amouage, and they are so strong and potent that I don't really need to even buy uh, the fragrance itself well you know it's nice to layer them but i just like having that little hint of jubilation 25 man on my skin without being too overpowering or projecting and leaving a sillage this just leaves a very nice um soft 
smell coming off me throughout the day. Uh, I really like that. So Jubilation 25 for men. Yes, definitely I would recommend. You know, <laughs> just my opinion. But Jubilation 25 for women, it's just, it definitely is not a blind buy. Well, nothing is really. But it's just not me. Not at all. It does also remind me of two other fragrances. Um, the Miss Dior. Dior Miss Dior, that one. It smells very similar in my opinion. Not exactly the same, but they're similar. And also reminds me of Roger Dove Diaghilev, which is like really, really expensive. Um, just in the same vein, I guess. They have the same kind of feel in them, but they're not the same. So those two, if you, uh, if you like this one and you want to try things that are similar, I'd recommend those to try. But anyways, I don't really like this one. I would never wear it. I just don't like it. <laughs> And I don't have much more to say about it, but yeah, if you guys do like it, uh, please do let me know what you think about this fragrance. I know it's a kind of popular one in the house. There's probably more people that do enjoy it than don't, just my guess, but for me, it's a no and I'm going to pass on this. So thank you guys so much for watching. This was day 23 of Sentimus and I will see you guys back tomorrow with the last day, day 24. See you guys. Bye-bye.